That name making you sweat, Snowball? Honestly, yeah. I've made it. This is why I became a lawyer in the first place. I've got plenty of surprises for you, Miles. You're gonna learn this is where Phoenix Wright belongs. Being said, it does make your defeat more vexing. I humbly apologize. Cast your feelings aside. The El There's Edgeworth! Allow me to offer my congratulations on your victory today. I'm a big fan, and I never miss an episode. I doubt that. <laughs> well, thanks, I appreciate it. And thank you, Edgeworth. Vasquez would have gone free if you hadn't intervened back there. Listen, seeing you after all these years was unexpected. But I would have preferred it hadn't happened. Thanks to you, I am weighed down by unnecessary feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. That's so? Aren't those feelings necessary? I feel like this case changed something inside me forever. Who knows? Maybe it was the same for him, too. What do you think impressed Edgeworth so much? Any idea? Well... I couldn't tell you what. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, Nicky! It pains me to have to make this request of you, but I have no other choice in the matter. Will you defend me? You can count on me. Who could have ever guessed this day would come? I'm glad I finally get my chance to repay you. For what? What did I do? Never mind, we can talk about that later. With that pain for all these years, I have to help him. You've done a lot. It's sweet. Uh, you guys were friends back when you were both little kids. And still, you're willing to risk everything to help him now. Yeah, there's a good reason for that. One day, while we were in fourth grade, our classroom became its own crime scene. Another kid's lunch money was stolen out of their backpack during P.E. You know you always have to tell the truth, no matter what, Phoenix. Since I'd skipped it, I was the prime suspect. Please apologize. I learned how painful it felt to be alone with no one at your side, branded as a criminal. I thought the only way I could make it stop was to confess to it. But then... Objection! Don't say anything! How come? Because it wasn't you. You didn't steal the money, did you? <laughs> no! Then you have no reason to feel ashamed. Just because everyone is saying you did it, that still doesn't make it true. But he did do it! He stole your money, Miles! Yeah, we all know that Phoenix is a thief! If you don't have evidence, you don't have anything. Before you try him in your little kangaroo court, you should at least know that much! You tell him, Edgy! All you jerks love ganging up on people and making them feel like total crap! You should be ashamed of yourselves! Thanks, you guys. Without any evidence, or an eyewitness that saw him commit the crime, he should be found innocent. I rest my case. With that, this court is hereby adjourned. That means it's over! Now find something better to do with your time! That was the beginning. The three of us became good friends afterwards. I'll never forget how he defended me that day. It made a big impression on me. That's cool. Why Nick became a defense lawyer in the first place? Uh. Well, a big part of it was to see you again and ask what happened to you. Happened to me? Free! I'm sorry, but I just don't believe your nightmare. It's just a bad dream. Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying that I believe in your innocence. And by the time this trial is finally over, you're gonna believe in it just as much as I do. Uh. The case you're making in there is so compelling. So fierce. You've convinced me of my innocence. We have to extract the bullet from Mr. Von Karma's shoulder! Once it's out, we can compare the ballistic markings! And if they match, that will be ample proof that they were indeed both fired from the same pistol! And furthermore, prove that you were in the scene of the crime that day! You're free, finally. 
I'm grateful for this, truly. Thanks, Phoenix, old friend. Wow, you actually smiled! Thought it never happened. I owed you one. I guess we're even. For what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Ooh, I know, I know! The case of the missing lunch money! What case was that? You owed him lunch? When we were in grade school, you defended me in that class trial. I never forgot it. It changed me forever. It did? Oh, yeah. Remember this? Uh, you still have that thing. Of course. You still have yours, don't you? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know where it is. Miles Edgeworth. We were classmates, but we'd never spoken a word to each other. What? I didn't do it! Please apologize. Say you're sorry. Objection! I'm sorry, Edgeworth. You don't have to apologize. You didn't truly steal the money, did you? No! Therefore, don't feel ashamed. They may say you did it, but that doesn't turn a false accusation into the truth. What? We all know we did it! Yeah, and it was your money he stole anyway! He's just a dirty thief! If you don't have evidence, you don't have anything! Before you try him in your little kangaroo court, you should at least know that! Yeah, you tell them, Edgy! They don't know nothing about nothing! Thanks, you guys. All you jerks love ganging up on people and making them feel like total crap! You should be ashamed of yourselves! The defendant pleads not guilty. And since you lack any evidence that would prove otherwise, that's it! The verdict shall be innocent! Yeah, sure. With that, this court's hereby adjourned. That means it's over! <laughs> Edgeworth! Thanks so much, man. You really saved me. I owe you one. As I said, there was no evidence to prove your guilt. That's all. Are you sure about that? Mostly sunny on the eastern shore. Bother. Some clouds in a I don't wish to bother you, but... The there's a show I'd like to watch. Don't to bring well, is there? It it's all yours. What? You're leaving too? Oh. Hold on! Wait a sec, Phoenix! What are you doing? I'm taking this back to him. No, you're not! Seriously, man! I mean, he threw it in the trash! And that means he's not our friend anymore and we're not his! No way! It has to be a misunderstanding! Well, I understand it perfectly! Screw that guy! <laughs> What gives? You're wrong. He would never throw our friendship away. B.S. It was in the trash, wasn't it? Yeah. Look, man. It's over. You serious? Later, dude. Hold on a second. Come with me and we'll sort it out. Pass. Then I'll go alone. Whatever. Is it true? Did you really throw this away? This represents our friendship. It's not garbage. There's gotta be an explanation. What's up? How did you know I was coming back here? You left some clues. And I found them. You know? I could tell you wanted to find your way back. Because you had left a trail. Just like that day. There was something else. Something I knew you'd never leave behind. You came to get this. <laughs> Here you go, man. You can't quit the Signal Samurai. And I won't. You and me will be friends forever. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> A 
okay? Shake on it? <laughs> okay. Forever. His kid who followed in his footsteps became a prosecutor young and hasn't lost a case yet. No joke. They're a true prodigy. Von Karma. The legendary prosecutor who went 40 years without a loss. Until I came around and fought him tooth and nail to save the life of a friend. I gotta get over it. He's gone. And he's never coming back. found it. The search you called for really did the trick. I'm floored. Did you know it was gonna go down like that? No, but I did know if he was on the case, it would be found. That's Phoenix right for you. I thought Miles Edgeworth chose death. Did you just change your mind or what? No, the man that I once was is surely dead and gone. Then explain what made you come back to this place and why do it now? In the years since that trial, <laughs> I have been searching endlessly for answers. What is a prosecutor? What exactly do I stand for in the courtroom? <gasps> so, right? What exactly do you stand for? Tell me, do you even have an answer for that question? Uh, well, I, uh, what do I stand for? Mr. Nick. The answers I found for myself. will be clear by this trial's end. But what about yours? Uh, uh, uh. To his body, I don't know what it is. Excuse me. Right. What was that about? You clearly did not want the trial to be adjourned today. Is something wrong? Let's go have a chat. You're here, Edgeworth? Back off, man! This area is off limits! Stop taking me! Ah! Ah! Why did that happen? Oh! And now it's off limits to you too, detective! I just want you to know I didn't mean to break it. Thank you. This competition killed. But if I can't get the judge to acquit him, then I'm signing Maya's death warrant. What is justice in this case? And how can I still fight for it knowing the truth? Help me, Edgeworth. Find the contradictions. Believe in the truth. Next episode, farewell, my turnabout, third trial. Take that. Lost. What am I supposed to do? Can't tell you. It's entirely up to you to decide how to proceed. I really can't tell you. During last year's case, the realization hit me that I had lost sight of what it truly meant to be a prosecutor. I wanted to distance myself from that life and reflect upon who I was, reconsider why I had chosen that path. And when I came upon that answer, I would begin a new journey. Now, Phoenix, you must do the same. But how? Start by asking this question. What does being a defense attorney mean to me? You'll find the answer eventually. Okay, but I know that I can't let a murderer walk away scot-free. And now, poor Maya's life can only be saved by one thing, ignoring the truth. I have to do it, but it's not me. And still, the truth will not change. I became an attorney because I wanted to fight for people who had no one on their side. And the truth was what it was all about. It was the best tool for saving those people. Now I can't even save one of my closest friends. Don't fool yourself. Do you think you're some sort of superhero? You're just a man. 
You talk about saving people, but that's not what normal men do. Well, why don't you tell me why you came back to the courtroom? What's this great answer you found? The truth. I'll fight for it with all I have. It's that simple. The truth, huh? This case is sure to get much darker. See it through till the end. Thank you, Edgeworth. You know, I like the new you. You helped me find myself, so thank you. Gay! She's gonna be A-OK, -okay, pal. You just do what you gotta do in that courtroom. If things get serious, old Edgeworth is gonna be right there with you, brother. You guys work together in there, and us cops will do all we can out in the streets. Believe it, us- It's your right, but listen. <laughs> Those who conceal the truth will likely fall victim to it. But sir, I am only doing what you people told me to do. I'm not like them. <gasps> What's more, neither is the defense. So I want you to tell us everything you know. It would appear that we've reached a conclusion in this trial. I shall now hand down my verdict. Objection! Really, defense? What now? It's about the note. I have a problem with it. You need a handwriting analysis? But don't you think that Celeste would be the only one who knew the claims made on the suicide note? There is a chance her sister could have known about everything mentioned. Oh, just another theory of yours. Your Honor, the prosecution needs 30 minutes. Why? I don't want there to be any doubt about the evidence. I second the call for writing analysis. He's playing along. We can't keep doing this. He's ready to kill Maya. I remember now. That. I once felt the same way. I did whatever it took to get the verdict I wanted, and as a result, piled up victory after victory. But then I crossed paths with Phoenix Wright once again. After the first defeat of my career, I'd felt I had lost everything. I'd soon find myself in the defendant's chair. That's when I witnessed everything I had believed in come crashing down. I had no choice but to leave that life behind. A lawyer who can't achieve victory might as well be dead! Surely you must have realized that the defeat would be the start of a new beginning. That is just foolish drivel! You may try and hide it, but the truth reveals itself. We must trust each other, and be firm in our belief that we're all fighting in service for the truth. We should trust our opponent? Indeed. Ultimately, both sides are working towards the same goal. You already knew that, didn't you? That is why you couldn't accept how I had changed. When I first heard you disappeared, it felt like a huge betrayal. You were the reason I became a lawyer. The way you fought for me when I had no one else changed my life forever. And then you betrayed your own character. That's why I put away the symbol of our friendship. But I was mistaken. You sacrificed your ego, admitted to the world you were wrong. You realized that you can't do it alone, that working together is the only way we can reach out to the truth. You saved my life. I mean it. Thank you. You realize I'm only doing my job. How foolish! Two losers licking each other's wounds! tested to find out who he truly is, but now I've said goodbye to that man and I'm ready to begin a brand new chapter in my life. Of course, not everything has changed. OBJECTION! You're far too naive. Still a rank amateur. It would serve you quite well to rethink your argument, Mr. Wright. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. I know there's gotta be a contradiction somewhere. OBJECTION!